Hi guys, Adam the OT back again with some more simple, fun, and effective OT games that are perfect for the home, the clinic, or the classroom. Don't forget if you like these videos and want to stay updated, just click subscribe. Any videos you'd like to see, let me know in the comments and I'd love to do a video just for you. Okay? So today's activity is called the stress sinker or the strength sinker depending on how you like to use it. It's a really good one for emotional regulation. It provides some really, really strong sensory heavy work and it's a brilliant classroom friendly movement break, really strong isometric activity. So let's have a look at it. It's called the stress slash strength sinker. So to make or sinker, this is all we need. We need a plastic bottle full of water. We're going to need a straw that we're going to just cut down about half size. Now the size of your straw will depend on what you're using to weigh it down and how heavy you want it to be. Start off too big because then you can snip off a little bit gradually and see the balance point when it gets to sink. So I've got this straw pretty much cut in half and I'm going to fold that over so the ends meet like so. Now for the weighted part you can use paper clips or I love these little guys you can use a mini binder clip or bulldog clip sometimes called it okay so we we'll use a bulldog clip for this one because I can show you the paper clip in the middle okay I'm gonna put the two ends into the bulldog clip like so okay so the two open ends I'm gonna drop that back inside my bottle okay see if this one sinks or floats so if you have a look at the red guy come on red guy if I hold them up to the camera, you can see the paper clips. All I've done with the paper clips is you put them, so there's three mini paper clips for this half straw. Okay, so if you have big paper clips, you'll need more straw. And I'll pop, it's nice. I will always have two of them inside. So one will in all likelihood sink faster. So that can be like your a gentle squeeze. And then this one will take a lot of effort. Okay, so let's see if I squeeze it. So the blue goes down first, but if I need to keep squeezing harder and harder and harder to make the red guy sink. Easy peasy, okay? So it's literally just a straw, a couple of paper clips, and an empty plastic bottle, okay? Now you can do it, be a little fancier now and add glitter and add like sequins and things. So as you move it around, it's really sparkly and more visually engaging too. You can make a very nice sensory bottle version of this. Another one I use for like motor modulation, I'll have two pieces of tape and instead of just saying, telling them to sink, the little um, divers, I'll try and get them that don't let it touch the bottom or come back to the top. This is a brilliant little strength activity because it's really giving them another focus point. Do you see the two pieces of tape? I want them to get it to hover in the middle. Okay, again, kids love this one. It's a great little challenge. So don't touch the bottom. Don't come back up to the top. Can you see? Try and do it with two fingers. Oh, strong fingers and hover in the middle. Easy peasy. And that's it guys. So that's, I call it in the classroom, I call it a, um, a strength sinker. If you're just using it for strength work. If I'm using it for emotional regulation, I call it the stress sinker. And really get them to visualize this as their frustrations, their worries, their stressors, and they're sinking them down. Sinking them right down to the bottom of the sea. And then keep them down there, and then relax. When they come back up, <gasps> breathe in fresh air and they feel so much better. For a lot of my kids who have like anger management or emotional regulation difficulties, it's hard to get them to think their way out of the situation. If I can get them to calm their bodies, it gives them a bit of breathing room and then you can usually find your way out of it. But calming the bodies first is a great way to do it, okay? That's it guys. So that's my little sinkers, stress sinkers or strength sinkers. Great for emotional regulation, great for the classroom, heavy work, very quarantine friendly right now. So they've been working an absolute treat for me. If you do use them, please do let me know. I love getting those messages every day. Um, any other videos want to stay updated, click subscribe. Any videos you'd like to see, let me know in the comments and I'd be delighted to do a video just for you. Okay, but for me, Adam the OT for today, that's